everybody who's a nominee has contributed in some way to the art form, you know, and through the TV medium. I mean, TV has been around for a very long time, you know, not as long as, you know, theater, but for a very long time. And to, to, to be acknowledged, you know, um, amongst your peers and friends and heroes, etc. That's uh, that's kind of a cool thing. That's right. Love that. Love that shape. There are moments of kind of holy smokes. Usually, when we when I have an interaction like this, where someone reminds me of what it is that's happened and how relatively short the time has been, insofar as I left drama, my second drama school to uh, uh, in 2016. That's in some ways no time at all, you know. But uh, time is extremely relative. But I will say. I feel extremely fortunate and the space my career has traversed in this time is extremely humbling, you know, and so I just kind of, yeah, I pinch myself quietly, you know, and just try to kind of just keep my head down and keep doing what I'm doing, you know, and, and see, and see how it all goes down, you know, because if that happens in that time, you know, I hope to be at it for a while, so let's just see how it goes. And in times of mourning is when you should be surrounded by family, and that's what we are. I was too scared to see it at first, when you first showed up, but our connection, uh, intertwined destinies, it makes us family. Though I am not one to be distracted, there are no distractions to be had. You know, I've spent my time, I guess this past year, in four walls or on a set, uh, which has been very beneficial to me as an artist and very beneficial to me as, I think, a citizen to be able to work with the material I have, be able to let that ferment in me and then go out and, and say, this is my take on it, this is what I'm thinking, you know? So it's given me a lot of time to really receive what's going on in society, receive what's going on within the culture, to know, okay, what can I add to it? You know, what, does it, what do we need to see? In Atticus, they, I felt we needed to see a not so commercial hero. And we also needed to see a hero that was you know, a black man, you know, properly, with all the action, with all the tropes of this hero, but also with the additional things that add to the zeitgeist and the idea and the latitude of what it is to be um, a fictitious hero and make that real. The mysterious stranger I heard about my entire life swinging a bat like Jackie Robinson, saving you, Mama, and Uncle George was me. This book belongs to our family, and together, we're gonna use this book to protect our family. What we were all experiencing initially as a species was, I mean, we were in the middle of a pandemic. We're still in the middle of a pandemic. It's not just this pandemic we're dealing with on the outside. We're dealing with an internal uh, pandemic on the inside as well. Uh, and that of you know, racial inequality and with the murder of uh, Brother George Floyd, all of that came to a head. I felt and still feel that Lovecraft Country served as a balm to those who were protesting. It served as a respite. And unfortunately, it gave you a good talking to, <laughs> you know, in a good way, I think, as a, as a culture. And because of the platform, because of the humanity of the characters, um, it added to the protest um, and added to the conversation. So it was a honor that I didn't think I was going to have the... One doesn't think they'll have that experience when they make a piece. You know, you ex I expect it to reach people, you know, in their homes, um, but, to, but to reach, you know, capitals and, and, and cities and, and politicians in a different way uh, was a gift.